In today's show, we're going to break down the latest OBJ rumors, and then we're going to get to the injury report on a Wednesday as we get closer and closer to game day this Sunday against the Washington Commanders. But first, guys, OBJ, he's visiting with the Giants tomorrow. Let's get the good vibes going out into the universe. I know everybody wants him to sign with the Giants. Maybe you don't, but I know you don't want him to sign with the Cowboys. So if you want the Giants to sign OBJ, if you want OBJ to sign with the Giants, do your part. Go down right now, like this video. I'm not saying if you don't like it, it's not going to happen, but I'm not saying it's not. So if you want it to happen, like this video. Don't be the person that jinx it. Don't be the person that wakes up after he signs with the Cowboys, and I'm blaming it on you. You right there. You haven't liked the video, so change it. Go down right now. Hit that thumbs up icon. You are watching New York Giants now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. As always, we have a loaded and a very fun show coming up for you guys today. We're going to talk about the latest Odell Beckham Jr. news because Saquon Barkley and Sterling Shepard were talking about him at Giants practice today in the locker room, actually after Giants practice. We know he's visiting tomorrow. Brian Dable confirmed that OBJ will at least be in the building for Thursday, did not guarantee or say anything about Friday. He's been really holding the info close to his chest. Hasn't really said much about OBJ. Keeps on saying, we'll talk about that in the future. If he doesn't sign, where's the future? Makes me feel like the Giants have a good feeling of where they're at. Then we're going to talk about the updated Giants injury report as practice went down today on Wednesday. And we got news on big-time players like Bellinger, Neil and Ojolari. Did they practice? Did they not? What's it looking like for Sunday? We'll break it all down in today's show. Let's first start, though, with the latest OBJ news. We know that he is set to visit with the Giants at least tomorrow on Thursday, December 1st. Reports came out a couple of days ago that he was going to visit also on Friday. Kind of a sleepover thing. The rumors that it was he was going to come into New Jersey, New York late Thursday night get some meetings done, talk to Shane, talk to Dable, then stay over and then do his physical and all that stuff on Friday. We know he's meeting with the Dallas Cowboys. Jerry Jones has confirmed this. He will meet with the Cowboys on December 5th. And then he is supposed to meet with the Buffalo Bills come at some point forward. We don't know the dates of that. I do expect him to decide between these three teams. These are the three teams that I think Odell Beckham will decide from once he does decide to sign with another team. I thought this was really important from Jordan Renan, and we'll get to the quotes from Saquon Barkley and Sterling Shepard in a second. But he asked him and said, Saquon Barkley and Sterling Shepard remain extremely close friends with free agent wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr., who visits the Giants this week. Both said they spoke with OBJ as recently as yesterday. You don't think they ain't recruiting him? I'll tell you they are. They know Odell Beckham makes this team much better. Shepard said Beckham told him he'll be coming over to his house one of the next few days. Whatever his favorite snacks are, whatever his favorite drinks are, Shep, get them ready. We know that OBJ's a partier. Get the party going. Do what we got to do to land the plane. Get Odell Beckham Jr. back to playing with the New York football giants. Because, look, it's not that I just love OBJ. I love this football team. I love when this football team wins. I think signing a guy like Beckham makes you a better team, which equals more wins. And at the end of the day, that is all that I care about. I want to see the Giants win. OBJ, in my opinion, gives him a better chance to do that. This is what Saquon Barkley said today in the locker room about OBJ. He said, that's my brother. He knows what time it is. He know we want him here. I don't need to really say much. I want him to do what is best for him at the end of the day. He knows our relationship. This is actually from Sterling Shepard. He says he knows his relationship with Saquon and other people in this building. There is not much you need to say. It's based off of what is best for him and his family. He can't just come over here because we want him. That's true. That's a quote from Sterling Shepard. We'll get to the one from Saquon Barkley in a second. But I thought this was important from Pat Leonard, who actually had a good tweet, even though he's a total fraud. He said, Sterling Shepard asked if he'll let Odell Beckham Jr. leave the facility after Thursday's visit with the Giants. Says he has no say-so on the business side of things, but smiles and adds, I want to try to keep him here. That's the plan. OBJ is going to do what's best for him at the end of the day, and that's what he should do. He should do what's best for him. Look, Sterling Shepard and Saquon Barkley are trying to recruit this guy 
Very much so. The Giants are in recruitment mode. They know at this point, if they want to bring home Odell Beckham Jr., they got to make him happy. They got to do what they got to do in the next couple of days. I'm not trying to get my hopes up at the end of the day. Um, I'm not. I don't want to get too up. I don't want to get too down. I know at this point it's nothing that we can do can, to, to control it, but it, it's up to OBJ. Uh, we know Saquon. We know Sterling Shepard are going to do everything they can. They're really good friends with him. But at the end of the day, it comes down to what OBJ wants. i sure he wants to contend to for a title. i pretty sure he wants to play for a team that's going to be competing in the playoffs. Um, and the Giants have kind of not done the best that they can the past couple of weeks to make it look really appealing for the New York Giants. But at the end of the day, Giants still control their own destiny. They've got six more games. They go 3-3 three and three over these next six games. They are going to make the playoffs. I'll ask you this question, though. Do you want the Giants to sign Odell Beckham Jr.? Type OBJ for yes. Type no BJ for no. I want to hear from you guys down in the comment section right now. Make sure you guys are subscribed because when Odell Beckham Jr. news and rumors come out, we're going to be breaking it down and keeping you up to date on everything that's happening with the New York Giants. So stay in the loop. We're on the cusp of getting to 20,000 subs. We're like 300 subs away. You love the Giants. You want more videos. We put out videos every single day. We go live for every single game day. Hit that big red button. Lock us in right now. The Giants injury report. It was very lengthy for New York today. They had eight, 15 players on the Giants injury report today. Um, but the thing is, even though it was one of the longest injury reports of the season, the Giants are getting healthy, and they're getting healthy at the right time, and that's what you want to see. You want to see your teams get better and get their best players back down the stretch. That's what's happening for the Giants. There were five players that did not practice for New York today, that being the running back, Gary Brightwell, offensive lineman, Josh Azudu, DB Adore Jackson. We know he's going to be out for a little while. Richie James did not practice, and neither did Shane Lemieux. I don't expect any of these guys, honestly, to play. When you don't practice on Wednesday, probably not likely that you're going to practice, uh, play on Sunday. Guys that were limited participants at practice today. Daniel Bellinger, I'm expecting him to play. Dable said that he is optimistic about him playing. Dane Belton said that he most likely will play. I'm expected to see Dane Belton out there. Carter Coughlin, John Feliciano, Cordell Flott, Darnay Holmes, Fabian Morrow, as well as Leonard Williams. I'm expecting all of these guys to be out there. Aziz Ojolari, not on this list, which means that he was a full participant. So was Evan Neal and Tyree Phillips. All of those guys were full participants. So I'm expecting the Giants to be out of strength that they haven't really been at this whole season. We haven't seen Leonard Williams and Dexter Lawrence and Kayvon Thibodeau and Aziz Ojolari out there for limited or multiple snaps and multiple games. I'm excited to see that. I think they could be one of the best defensive lines in football. I mean, Kayvon Thibodeau's your worst defensive lineman. That's a pretty damn good problem to have. I'm excited to see. And getting Tyree Phillips back at the backup right tackle spot, get Evan Neal out there. That's only going to make this offensive line better and help a guy like Saquon Barkley out, get back on track to the type of player that he is. Speaking of Saquon, get your jersey today. Saquon Barkley jersey today. Go to chatsports.com slash Giants throwback. The Giants are going to be wearing their throwbacks again this Sunday, we got a Daniel Jones one, we got an Xavier McKinney one, and we got a Saquon Barkley one. And Fanatics is also running a massive sale right now, so take advantage of that. Go to chatsports.com slash Giants throwback. That's chatsports.com slash Giants throwback. This is the most healthy the Giants have been all season long. I mean, outside of the receiver position, of course, obviously no Wandale Robinson, no Sterling Shepard. We'll see if Kenny Galladay is ready to go and ready to play this week. But on the offensive line, this is one of the most healthy they've been. Joshua Zudu most likely won't play. So I'm expecting Nick Gates to be the starting left guard, John Feliciano at center, and you get back right tackle Evan Neal. So you'll have a starting offensive line of Andrew Thomas, Nick Gates, John Feliciano, Mark Lewinsky, and Evan Neal. That's a good group right there. I'm expecting Saquon Barkley to get back on track this week against Washington. On the defensive line, if you get all four of these guys back, get Kayvon Thibodeau, Leonard Williams, Dexter Lawrence, Aziz Ojolari, that's going to be huge. No doubt about it. I'm looking forward to that. I want to see on the outside, getting pressure from Thibodeau and Ojolari while you got the big dogs, Leonard Williams and Dexter Lawrence 
taken up some space in the middle. Lawrence is having an all-pro year. Leonard Williams has been great in the games that he's played. This defensive line is extremely talented, and this is where the Giants can do most of their damage. We know Taylor Heineke is a solid QB, but under pressure, he's not one of the best. I'm expecting these guys to get after Heineke this Sunday. Who do you got, though? Who do you got this Sunday going into the game? I'm calling it a must-win game. Um, it's going to be huge. Giants want to make the playoffs. They're going to have to win this game. Can they still make the playoffs if they lose? No doubt about it. But you make it a lot easier on yourself if you win this game. So let me know who you got. Type NYG for the Giants or WAS for the Washington Commanders. Give me a follow over on Twitter as well, at Marshall Green underscore. I'll give everybody a follow back that gives me a follow. Just DM me, OBJ, so I know you came from this video. Give me a follow at Marshall Green underscore. And I appreciate everyone, as always, that makes the Giants now a part of their day, as always. If you made it this far in the video, be a real one. Comment real one down in the comment section right now. Let's go, Giants. It's going to be a big game. Comment real one if you made it this far.